Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Today talking about a couple of upcoming propositions, Prop 5 and Prop 10. Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Thank you so much for watching. Today I'm here to talk about a couple of upcoming ballot measures, Prop 5 and Prop 10. And I wanted to share some basic information about these measures as they were brought up by the California Association of Realtors as really important things for all Californians to be aware of. So some talking points that I want to go through with these for you is that there's basically two initiatives that are going to be on the statewide ballot that could dramatically affect housing opportunities, private property rights, and the availability of, for of affordable housing. So the first is Prop 5, and this is California Association of Realtors own initiative to create new homeownership opportunities by generating more sales of single-family homes in existing neighborhoods. This is going to benefit young families at a time when California faces a severe shortage of houses for sale. Prop 5, the Property Tax Fairness Initiative, qualified for the ballot earlier this year after nearly 1 million voter signatures uh, were submitted to the Secretary of State's office. So here's how it will work. Seniors often live in homes that no longer meet their needs because their homes may be too big or too far from family. Now, if these homeowners want to downsize or move closer to their children, they could face a doubling or tripling of their property taxes, or what's being called a moving penalty. Proposition 5 provides appropriate relief by allowing those eligible with the ability to transfer their current property tax base to the purchase of another home in any of California's 58 counties. This expands from what it is currently. The new property tax for that individual would be based on their original home's assessment in addition to an adjustment consisting of the difference in value between the sales price of the original home and the sales price of their new home. Proposition 5 would provide respite to seniors, many on fixed incomes, the disabled, and disaster victims by allowing them the flexibility to move to a more suitable home. Right now, too many feel locked in place. So this is going to help boost the housing inventory in existing neighborhoods as older homeowners move from their single-family homes that no longer meet their needs and free up housing for future generations. The other measure of concern on the November ballot is Prop 10. This is the so-called Affordable Housing Act that would actually make the housing crisis worse by repealing the long-standing Costa-Hawkins Rental Housing Act, eventually allowing local governments to impose rent control measures. Now, CAR, California Association of Realtors, strongly opposes Prop 10, and here's why. Proposition 10 will reduce availability of affordable and middle-class housing. Academic experts from the University of Southern California, UC Berkeley, and Stanford all agree that it would drive up rents while discouraging new construction and reduce the availability of affordable and middle-class housing. Even the state's nonpartisan legislative analyst has found that passage of Prop 10 would both discourage new construction and result in existing rental units being taken off the market, reducing availability of rental housing. Proposition 10 would increase the cost of existing housing. So Proposition 10 will cause homeowners to sell or convert rental properties into other more profitable uses, such as short-term vacation listings like Airbnb. Now that would increase the cost of existing housing and make it even harder for renters to find affordable housing. Proposition 10 will cost taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars per year, reducing revenues available for education and public safety. So the legislative analyst also said that Proposition 10 would likely reduce the value of rental properties and single-family homes, driving down local property tax revenues by up to hundreds of million dollars per year. Driving down home values will hurt middle-class families and will also reduce the funding available for vital services like schools, public safety, road repairs, education, and fire safety. And Proposition 10 will eliminate homeowner protections that homeowners have enjoyed for over 20 years and lets the government dictate pricing for privately owned single-family homes, controlling how much homeowners can charge to rent out their home or even just a room. 
Proposition 10 might even lead to bureaucrats imposing oppressive surcharges when an owner takes a home off the rental market and chooses to move back in. So please remember to vote yes on Prop 5 and no on Prop 10. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to give me a call or send me an email. My number is 562-316-2915 or you can email me at melinda at Thanks so much for watching, and please feel free to forward and share this with your friends.